we are free from bondage to the law. Galatians chapter 2, verses 3 and 4. Yet not even Titus, who was with me, being a Greek, was compelled to be circumcised. And this occurred because of false brethren secretly brought in, who came in by stealth to spy out our liberty which we have in Christ Jesus, that they might bring us into bondage. This week we're going to talk about freedom, the freedom that we have in Jesus Christ. And uh, as we begin talking about freedom, we need to understand that as New Covenant believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, we are free from uh, being kept under bondage to the law. And we talk about the law, we're referring to the Mosaic law, the law of Moses, uh, uh, with all its extensive do's and don'ts and regulations and so on. And uh, the and Paul's epistle to the believers in Galatia, which we refer to as, as Galatians, uh, is, is, is addressing this very specific matter. And in the two verses we read, Paul points out that there, be, there were people who came in to that region and they came to, you know, uh, to spy out and to trouble the liberty that uh, they as believers had in Christ Jesus and which we as believers have today in Christ Jesus. There is liberty in Christ. There is freedom in Christ. And very specifically, uh, he's talking about our freedom from bondage to the law, keeping the, the law, the rules and the, uh, the regulations that were given through Moses and as part of as under what we refer to as the old covenant. So as believers, we must understand that we are no longer in subjection to the old covenant laws as given through Moses. Uh, so uh, we understand that we are part of a new covenant that we have with God through the Lord Jesus Christ. This new covenant has a two great commandments which the Lord gave. He says, you love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. You love your neighbor as yourself. If you keep these two commandments, you fulfill the law. When you, 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 you do more than what the law requires. So we walk according to those commandments. Now somebody would say, then why do we read the Old Testament? Well, the Old Testament still reveals the heart of God. It still reveals who God is. It still reveals the very nature and the character of God. It reveals how God works, how the Spirit of God moves. So all those things are still unveiled to us in the Old Testament and further revealed to us in the New Testament. So we still read the Old Testament. We still read the Old Covenant. But yet we keep in mind that we are not subject to the law or the Mosaic law and the, all of its rules and regulations. Now, in Romans chapter 7 and verse 4, the Apostle Paul writes, he says, Therefore, my brethren, you also have become dead to the law through the body of Christ, that you may be married to another, to him who was raised from the dead, that we should bear fruit to God. So he says, look, we are dead to the law. We now belong to Christ and we belong to the body of Christ. So being part of Christ and in the body of Christ, we are dead to the law. The law no longer dictates how we live. We are free from those rules and regulations. We are free to walk in love towards God, towards people, free from bondage to the law. So don't let somebody take you and put you under some rule or some um, uh, dictate of an old covenant uh, statement. Uh, so, you know, sometimes people take an old covenant idea and they put it down hard on believers and say, this is what you should do or should not do. You need to understand the difference. In Christ, you're free from bondage to the law. Let's pray. Father, even this week, as we delve into the subject of freedom and what you've set us free from in Christ, I pray that it will bring freedom to our hearts and minds and our lives. Let the truth set each of us free. Let it liberate us in areas where we need to be liberated. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.